Six. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a more Mondays video. Today, Jonathan and I, um, what did Ariel call you in her blog? The basic behind the scenes? I don't remember. The behind the scenes basic, something like that. Um, Jonathan is basically our behind the scenes basic. He helps us out with production and editing and all that good stuff and we would not be where we are without him that's for sure but um and if you don't know if you're new here Jonathan is my husband so spoilers <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> um, but today for more magic Mondays I wanted to start a series on here called basics at brunch and it essentially is us going to different restaurants on Disney and Universal property and trying their brunch. So unfortunately, Ariel is at a speech and debate terminant, terminant, tournament this weekend, so she cannot come to brunch with us today. So it is just us two. We're gonna go have a nice little brunch date and we wanted to take you guys along, kind of, you know, get a review structure system going probably will do the same system that Ariel did for our Topolino Terrace bl blog post. If you haven't read that, I'll link that down below. Um, but yes, Jonathan, would you like to tell everyone where we are going today? I just know that we're going to Animal Kingdom. I don't know the name. <laughs> we are going to the Animal Kingdom Lodge because Jonathan loves Animal Kingdom. It's his favorite park. He loves animals. And I saw that they had an opening and I knew that he would want to come. So we are gonna go eat at Whispering Canyon in Animal Kingdom Lodge. So very excited. I have never been to the lodge whatsoever, much less Whispering Canyon. And Jonathan hasn't either. So we're gonna go eat some yummy food and look at the animals. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Caitlin. This is Jonathan. I am the host of the Bippity Boppity Basics podcast. We do um, more Magic Mondays every other Monday, and then we post episodes of our podcast here on YouTube every single Wednesday. So be sure you are subscribing, liking this video, commenting. Every little bit helps. So I love and appreciate you all so much. So let's get started with this fun brunch. idiot ever and I saw Lodge and was like oh Animal Kingdom Lodge no John was correct at the beginning of this video we are going to Fort Wilderness because it is at Wilderness Lodge so we get up to the gate agent at Animal Kingdom Lodge and we're like hey we have a dining reservation and he's like oh for where and I was like Whispering Canyon ha 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 and he was like mm, that's not here rip so now we're going to Wilderness Lodge and Jonathan doesn't get to see the animals because I'm the worst ever. So now I'm going to get as a dining reservation for actual Animal Kingdom Lodge because I hyped up to him so much about us being able to see the safari animals. So. Rip. It is what it is. Yes, it is what it is. It's good. It's so good. I it's want like you. I want you to try your cocktail. Oh, I already did, but oh, it's good. It's just sweet tea with bourbon, but like it's not too sweet, which is really important for me in a sweet tea. 
think this is yogurt. Yeah, I think it is too. Just like a strawberry. Just like, yogurt. Yogurt. Alright guys, so we obviously are back home in our apartment. We wanted to sit down and kind of talk about um, our experience at Whispering Canyon. And first of all, they don't whisper at all. <laughs> it's like quite the opposite. Like actually. what a misnomer. We were <laughs> screamed at the entire <laughs> time we were there. It was fantastic, but it yeah. was very unexpected. Yeah. Uh, do you have your phone on you? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, I wanted to look at the ranking system that Ariel uses mm. for Topolino's Terrace, so we can kind of give the same okay. perspective from um, for Whispering Canyon. So she looks at atmosphere and cost slash benefit and food is that it yeah oh and then food okay and then her rating system three out of five basics is one out of five one is, to five basics yes five i just read the yeah five basics okay got it so all right so overall first impressions of whispering canyon so i had never been to wilderness lodge before and um, it is in Wilderness Lodge. It's not an Animal Kingdom Lodge like I started the day thinking that it would be. So we definitely need to go eat at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I had only ever been to Fort Wilderness, which is the campground. I've stayed in the campground. I've gone to Hoop Dee Dee Review, but I've never been to the lodge. The lodge was gorgeous. It was really pretty. Oh my gosh. The detail, I mean, we're not surprised because it's Disney, but no it was really cool and there was a lot of like totem poles and really cool like art and it very much felt like kind of out west and log cabin -y. a massive like fireplace in the in the corner there was like a hot spring yeah bubbling in, in the center jonathan is from montana yeah if you don't know so felt like home felt like glacier national park and kind of the atmosphere up in that corner of the world mm -hmm. and I really thought they had like a lot of artifacts on display like indigenous artifacts so a lot of like headdresses that were modeled based on like very specific tribes and stuff and I thought that was cool as a child that was something that I was always really interested in was like learning about kind of native cultures especially growing up in that area so mm -hmm. I had a ton of fun just like walking around waiting to get seated before we even got in yeah for sure it was I got the reservation on the My Disney Experience app and it was really awesome because they gave me the option to mobile check in. So I actually checked us into the restaurant when we were in the parking lot of the lodge itself, which was really nice. They were running a little bit behind today, but on a normal day, I'm sure that would be super streamlined and the minute that you got in to the lodge, you probably would be getting the text message for your table being ready we waited like what 15 20 minutes yeah, um which yeah still isn't even that bad so um overall atmosphere i would give it four out of five yeah it was really cool we, <laughs> we didn't know what we were getting into and when we sat down the host was like have you been here before and we we're like no and she goes okay just so you know it's like very themed and very crazy and we're yeah like, and she's like, yeah, the, the servers are pretty sassy. You'll see. It's fine. Our <laughs> and server, then she walked away. And then, like, the server comes around, like, yelling at one of the customers. Yeah, our <laughs> server was so sassy. She was so sweet, though. She was a great server. Um, she was a lot of fun. Yeah. And it, this, this dining experience is definitely not for the tender-hearted. <laughs> um, because... They, they were sensitive a little bit to, like, your your vibe, I think. Yeah, that's fair. They definitely read the table. Um, but she was... She was phenomenal. She was super fun. Nice. Um, I, I think it was a great dining experience. Mm -hmm. 
So let's talk a little bit about the food. So the food here, you've got choice of entrees, but the main thing that they're known for are their skillets, basically just like a majority of other brunches that you're going to find on Disney property. So we decided to go with a skillet that is called the lighter side skillet and we got what so in what this, oh it's oatmeal basically yeah. but what is it actually muesli. called muesli okay m-u-e-s-l-i muesli okay so there was a few sides that like came out ahead of time we got the mm -hmm. muesli we got the yogurt, yogurt fresh and fruit fruit and then in the skillet itself it was like like an egg white spinach it was an egg white spinach frittata um mickey waffles which they were actually mini waffles they sure were which we're not mad we, no <laughs> we, we totally stand mini she's fine <laughs> um mickey waffles turkey bacon turkey sausage and potatoes. breakfast potatoes yep. which breakfast potatoes five out of five for the breakfast potatoes the rest i would personally i would give like three out of five for the full meal i agree for food full meal ranking i would say a good 2.53 basic. It was fine. Out of five basic. It was fine. For it wasn't sure. Bad. For sure. It wasn't phenomenal. Um, my two favorites of the meal was the oatmeal. Yeah, the muesli was fantastic. I had never had that perfect before. Sweetness, I had never had cold flavor. oatmeal before. Yeah. It had what raisins? Like raisins and dried cranberries. And I think it was pecans. No, it was walnuts. Walnuts? Yep. Some kind of nut. It was walnuts. Um, it was delicious. I loved it. Yeah. Like, so much so that I'm like, how do I make it? Like, that and the breakfast potatoes were the top two yeah. servings for... I had to put salt on my eggs. Which yes. Salt and pepper, definitely for the eggs. I don't think I've put salt or pepper on a, like, <sighs> menu meal? item. No, on any meal at a restaurant in, like, the last 10 years. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. Put it on my eggs. And, and we were talking about it. Like, we are, we definitely ordered the healthy option yeah. for... It's not going to be, like... The offerings of that they have, correct. If you got the carnivore, or if you got, I can't remember what the other one was called, but that had cheesy biscuits, which I bet that's like, you know. Rip. But we are trying to take care of our bodies. Um, so I'm sure if you got another skillet or another dish, it would be probably more flavorful, but. Overall, I mean, I would eat that meal again. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, like it was good. Um, you got a cocktail. Yes, I got the bourbon sweet tea. It was good. Yeah. I mean, it was just makers and sweet tea, but the sweet tea wasn't too sweet. Like, it was a good balance. I thought it was a good cocktail. Cool. I just got coffee. The coffee is great. It's Joffrey's. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Joffrey's. So, three out of five for food I see. is what you would say? Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. Like, three out of five for food. Like, not mad about it, but... Yeah, but not, not like... I'm not going to go out of my way to eat that specific meal again. For like, sure. So, last one is cost slash benefit. So, we shared a skillet, which included absolutely every single food item apart from Jonathan's cocktail that we mentioned. Um, so, you get the oats... Mostly. <laughs> Thank you. I know I'm going to butcher it, so I don't even want to try. You get that. You get the yogurt. You get fruit. You get waffle. You get turkey bacon, turkey sausage, frittata, potatoes. Yep. All of those items, all eight of those items um, are included, and it's all you care to enjoy. So, sky's the limit, honestly. Um, well, your tummy's the limit, and my my tummy has a low. <laughs> yeah, limit. we only we only took one serving. Serving. It was like the perfect amount for two people to truly, split. Truly, truly the perfect amount. It's twenty two dollars per person. Correct. At the table because it's unlimited. Correct. So like if it was just twenty two dollars, which is what we normally would have done for like a brunch item like that, we would have just split it and paid the twenty two dollars and been happy. But because it was twenty two per person, and we weren't really gonna eat that much more. I feel like the whole like cost benefit thing is not good for us. Like if you're yeah, if you're I would give it much, like a two out of five for yeah, us. Yeah, like if you're gonna eat a bunch of food, like definitely go for it. If that's mm -hmm. worth it for you. But like we always split on trays to begin with because we just mm -hmm. don't 
we get a ton when we go out. Yeah. And so for us, like, was kind of bummed that we had no other option. Like, there was no, like, hey, just a single serve, please. Yeah, we really wanted <laughs> we to don't enjoy. Need the right, we wanted to enjoy the skillet. Like, we wish that there was an option for you to just buy just one singular skillet instead of the skillets being all you care to enjoy. Because nine times out of ten, when we're on Disney property having brunch, we want what is offered in the skillet. We want the variety of like the eggs, the potatoes, the waffles, all the side items, um, and not necessarily just entrees. So, but at the same time, we are not the biggest buffet people. We don't really do all you care to enjoy places just in general because we end up losing money on places like that because we just don't eat enough. Like today. <laughs> right. We don't eat enough to save money, right. basically, going to places like that. So I definitely wish that that was something that Disney offered. Um, but if you have a lot of kids, um, but see the kids would have to pay twenty to. No, the kids person. is less. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, well that's good. Um, because that's a lot of money. And below a certain age, it's free. Okay. So if you had a bigger family, um, and you just ate like two skillets, then I could see how that would be a little bit more cost effective. Also, if you just like. My brother-in-law can just eat. Yeah. Like, he loves, like, all-you-can-eat sushi places and all-you-can-eat places just in general because my sister cooks a lot of food for him in their normal life. So this would be a great place for Blake. So if you are like that, if you take advantage of buffets and all-you-can-eat, um, like menu options at places then the skillets are definitely the way to go because then you're definitely going to pay less paying the 22 dollars than you will if you buy an entree and you'll be full because for sure she honestly she kept asking like hey are you good like you just say the word and i'll bring more out and we were like Ugh. <laughs> um so yeah cost benefit i would say like two for us, at least. Right. I could see it being good for other people. For a, for a Disney property, if you got a family, it's mm -hmm. not bad. Mm -hmm. For us, not great. Yeah. Overall. Yeah, overall ranking. I would say you're going for the atmosphere more than anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going there to go like, live in that little world, and you're going there probably because the servers are sassy which we did not know, but it was a pleasant surprise. It was, it was great. We almost had a girl from another table join our table because the server like pulled her from her table because she was like aggravating him or something. Mm -hmm. He like parked her at our table and I was like, welcome, you can eat our skill that we're it, gonna finish. All in good fun. And like Jonathan said, they were very good at like reading their table. Yeah. Um, there were no tears. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there were no tears. I'd say three out of five. Yes, I it's, was gonna it's say- It's a good vibe, it's a lot of fun. Yes, I was going to say the exact same thing. Three out of five. Food is not groundbreaking. Like, I've had better Disney property food. But, yeah, I thought, I thought the resort was really cool. I would recommend it to somebody. But that is it for the first episode of Basics at Brunch. I'm going to get... I'm gonna gain some weight. I know. I'm going to brunch all the time. I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, please hit that like button. And also be sure to comment down below what brunch we should go to next. Um, I have a couple in mind, but I would love to hear what you guys are wanting to see and we will definitely prioritize those. It could be on Disney property or Universal property. So let us know in the comments down below. Be sure that you are subscribed here on YouTube. Also subscribe to the podcast if you listen instead of watching podcasts. Follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you on Wednesday for our episode with Kelsey from Kels and John and Kelsey's Orlando. So that's going to be a really fun episode. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. I will see you later. In the meantime, stay magical.